synthesis strategies, or how to make stuff. By now you're familiar with three different types or three different categories of one-step synthesis. In the first one, you add some reagent XY across a double bond to make a disubstituted alkane. This is known as addition. This is what chapter 8 is all about. In the second one, you're substituting y for x. This is called substitution. Remember this? SN1 and SN2. Your reagent is a nucleophile. And your substrate is an alkyl halide or something with a good leaving group. If you have an alcohol, you can treat it with tosyl chloride or use a halo acid to make it into an alkyl halide. We've also done elimination. You treat a substrate like an alkyl halide with a base. If it's a strong base, you get E2. If it's a weak base, you get E1. And you get an alkene. Don't forget Zaitsev and Hoffman. We've studied the following types of addition reactions. Hydrohalogenation where you use a halo acid like HBr, HCl, or HI, and you get an alkyl halide. The result of hydrohalogenation is Markovnikov. If you want anti-Markovnikov hydrohalogenation, you can use HBr and peroxide, R-O-O-R. Acid-catalyzed hydration will give you a Markovnikov alcohol, but you might get rearrangement. Oxymercuration demercuration will give you a Markovnikov alcohol without rearrangement. The oxymercuration step, you use mercuric acetate, HgOAC2, and water. In the second step, demercuration, you use sodium borohydride and ABH4. You can do hydroboration oxidation to get an anti-Markovnikov alcohol. Your first step, the hydroboration, you use borane, BH3, in tetrahydrofurane, THF. For the oxidation step, you use sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide. Again, your product of hydroboration oxidation is an anti-Markovnikov alcohol. You can get anti-dihydroxylation with MCPVA or peroxyacetic acid, or you can go through a halohydrin. So Br2, H2O, followed by NaOH. And the result is anti-addition and a diol. You can do syndihydroxylation via osmium tetroxide, a catalytic amount, and NMO, or um, T-butyl hydroperoxide, to regenerate it so that you don't use a whole bunch. Or you can go um, potassium permanganate followed by sodium hydroxide in cold conditions. This will give you the syndiol. If you react your alkene with a halogen, where X is either bromine, chlorine, or iodine, you get an alkyl dihalide, a vicinal dihalide. And the stereochemistry is anti. To make a halohydrin, Use a halogen molecule, same as with halogenation, but do it in water instead of carbon tetrachloride. And you get um, let's see, an alcohol and an alkyl halide. And also we should say 
that the alcohol is Markovnikov and the stereochemistry is anti. Finally, you can cut along a pi bond by doing ozonolysis. First using ozone, followed by DMS. What if you want to do something like move a substituent, like an alkyl halide, or move a double bond? You can't do it in one step, but you can do it in two steps. In order to figure out how, let's do some retrosynthetic analysis. We could make this 2-bromo-2-methylbutane by um, hydrohalogenation of 2-bromo-2-butene. We can make this 2-methyl-2-butene by doing Markovnikov, excuse me, Zaitsev elimination of 2-bromo-3-methyl-butane. So, starting from our initial compound and reacting it with a strong base that is not bulky like sodium hydroxide. So, what our synthesis looks like, first, we react it with sodium hydroxide. Sodium methoxide or sodium ethoxide would also work. Would also work. Second, we use HBr. And this is often how you'll see a synthesis written, with the series of steps uh, centered around the reaction arrow. How would we change the position of a pi bond? We go from a tri-substituted alkene to a mono-substituted alkene. Effectively, what we're doing is we're taking the pi bond and moving it here, but this isn't just a resonance process. We're going to have to do two steps. The first will be an addition reaction, and the second will be an elimination reaction. And if we pay attention to our um, regiochemistry, we'll move things in the right direction. We can make 3-methyl-1-butene by doing Hoffman elimination from 2-bromo-3-methyl-butane. So we'll use tert-butoxide. We can make the 2-bromo-3-methylbutane simply by performing anti-Markovnikov hydrobromination of our initial compound. So the 2-methyl-2-butene we'd react with hydrobromic acid and peroxide. So now going in the forward direction, our first step is the anti-Markovnikov hydrobromination where we use HBr and ROOR on the 2-methyl-2-butene. Um, and we get the 2-bromo-3-methylbutane. Then we just need to do the um, Hoffman elimination using tert-butoxide, a bulky base. And if we just want to write it, we go 1, HBr, ROOR, 2, T -buoc. Think about how you would perform this reaction. P 
pause your video and try it yourself. So we're moving from a more substituted to a less substituted. First, we're going to do Markovnikov hydrohalogenation. HBr, HI, or HCl would work. What kind of elimination do we use to get there? 